Hi everyone, my name is Liam Bobber and I am in Team 12 and our group's idea is the Mix Fix. So to introduce our team, we've been asked to make a product that is aimed primarily at Virginia Tech students uh, and to do so through using the product development process. We were able to make an outline to achieve this process by beginning with exploring multiple uh, opportunities as, and assessing the realisticness of getting the opportunities to market as well as having it succeed once it is there. However, we will go more in depth in the rest of the presentation. Okay, let's begin with the project planning. We initially had around five ideas including a coffee stir, a desk fan, an automatic potato peeler, a pencil sharpener, and an electric scrubber. Ultimately, we thought the coffee stir was the most promising, so we altered it a little so that it was a drink stir instead, and that would allow it to be more applicable to different audiences and applications. For our product, we wanted to make sure it was a standalone uh, drink mixer that not only provides convenience, but elevates the quality of the drink. So with this, we hope that our product can appeal primarily to VT students uh, and additionally to businesses like coffee shops or simply busy, uh, busy families. We believe that we can target these markets through our product's convenience, quality, and pricing. Now, here's the Gantt chart that we will, uh, that will cover our plan. From this, you can see that our process will occur from the 14th of October all the way to December 9th. The chart design was based off the product development process. The backbone of the chart was each key stage within the entire process, and those ones are primarily bolded in the task, uh, in the task bar. And if needed, more specific tasks uh, within the stages were delved into and put into the chart. And these ones are mostly the unbolded ones that are indented. Um, and as you can see, most of our tasks uh, occur sequentially. And this is because our group uh, consolidated most tasks uh, in order to have our Gantt chart and project plan easy to follow. Now we will cover the specifics of the customers. With this, we have the customer profile, which is about a friend who is seen as the average college student attending tech and also working at the same time. This shows that most students have a hectic lifestyle that don't necessarily have enough time to cook and prepare meals uh, or drinks. And they, they can be benefited with a product like this. Okay. The benefit can be obtained by knowing how to properly use the product. Our team's use case properly demonstrates this. Uh, it states that the user should gather all the ingredients that are desired to be mixed into a container, uh, which should then be placed under the stirrers. Next, um, the stirrers should be turned on and then left on until the drink is mixed thoroughly. Additionally, there are multiple speed settings for the stir based on ingredients and the user's uh, mixture preferences. Right, let's get into what matters the most, the customer needs. We interviewed multiple students from all years living both on and off campus at Virginia Tech about what they would want in a drink stir in order to gauge uh, what qualities are necessary for us to incorporate into our product in order for it to be successful. Some of the useful advice that we received from our interviewers are that uh, the stir uh, should be able to mix the drinks into different levels of thoroughness. The stir should not need uh, any assistance. The stir uh, shouldn't be... Uh, the stir, sorry. The stir should be able to improve the quality of the drink 
and more effectively than by hand. Uh, it should be cost effective, it shouldn't be bulky or sore to look at, and as well as uh, the stirrer should not be a process. <clears throat> From the customer uh, statements, we were able to interpret that our stirrer should have multiple settings of stirring power, be self-sufficient, uh, decrease the mixing time, be inexpensive, be compact and visually appealing, and simple to operate. From the customer need interviews, our group was able to make uh, to establish the max uh, mix fix crucial product specifications. These design specifications consisted of the base area, arm height, motor speed, blade length, mass, and user interface complexity. With these specifications in mind, our group created a preliminary sketch of what we plan to have our product look like, which is shown in the uh, top left figure, uh, which is a hands-free um, drink stirrer, which also is visually appealing. <clears throat> this was derived from existing stirrers, like the ones shown at the bottom of the screen. Using the product specification and the customer needs provided by the interviewees, uh, we were able to create a QFD chart. From that, we were then able to rank product spe specification based on the weighted importance of the customer needs and also how both specifications and needs uh, correlated. Next, we were able to establish that the user interface complexity, uh, area, the area of uh, the base, and the overall size of the product were among the most important specifications. However, it seemed as though the most important specifications were also the most uh, uh, challenging to accomplish. So there definitely will be uh, more focus that will be needed to be drawn uh, towards these uh, important um, specifications. Lastly, it is critical that we analyze the stirrer economically to see if it is reasonable to bring to market. So the mix fixes estimated cost to make uh, one unit is around $25 while its price per unit is uh, $28, leaving a profit per unit of $3. With that and a fixed cost of $10,000 for this company to operate annually, the break even uh, point will be around 1,429 units. And based on Virginia Tech's total population, we estimate that about 2,000 units will be sold, giving us a projected profit of about 5,980. Finally, to summarize this presentation, our detailed project plan will allow us to rapidly develop uh, our product. Moreover, the feedback we received from the customer interview, uh, interviews has allowed us to create a design for this product that will maximize our customer satisfaction and set us apart from the competition. Furthermore, our team's projected profit along with the units sold has allowed us to determine that, our, uh, that the mix fix is economically viable. This concludes our presentation. Thank you for listening.